now we're going to learn how to play the frame drum in the upright style. This style is what we have found to be the first way that the frame drum was played thousands and thousands of years ago. We see this through ancient hieroglyphics, we see this through images on vases, through images carvings in the stone. It's, it's a quite a fascinating topic. So, with that said, the upright style is a wonderful style if you like to dance, um, if you find yourself want, needing to stand up for a gig. Um, I'm, for purposes of learning today, I'm going to be sitting down, but I usually play it standing up and I'm usually dancing with it or have some kind of bells on my feet or moving my body in some way. So, how do you play in the upright style? Most frame drums either have a thumb hole or they have a little edging in the side of the drum. Now this is where your hand falls in the drum and holds it. This drum here is a Marletar that I designed with Cooperman Drum Company. And on the Marletar we have it all. We've got a thumb hole and we've got um, carvings out like this. <laughs> so, find your carving if it's the, th the hole or the ed edging in the side of the drum. And this is the hardest part about learning how to play in the upright style is holding the drum, I think. Many people tend to lean the drum into their body. You can't do it, right? That's not the way to do it. You want to lean the drum a little forward, okay? Does this help? you have better sound, more resonance in your strokes. So, how we do it is we take our non-dominant hand, everybody put out their non-dominant hand, and put your hand out like this, like you're going to shake someone's hand. Now you turn your hand over this way, and place the drum in your hand. Now the drum, like I said before, leans a little bit forward, it doesn't lean back. And the weight is going to be more so on the fingers and not on your thumb. Okay? Another thing, the thumb. A lot of people I see pushing down and really having a lot of pressure there. No, 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 no. We don't do that. We just have a gentle touch over there. See, it's gently touching the drum. Now, also, I should be able to lift the drum out of your hands like this. You don't want to hold on tight. Okay? So, once again, the drum is leaning forward. You want to have the weight towards the fingers, not your thumb. And you want to have a gentle hold here. You don't want to be pushing down. All right. So, the first playing stroke we're going to be learning is Doom. Doom is played with your dominant hand, and it's played with your ring finger. Now, for all of the strokes in the style, and, and actually in any style, we want to think about where the energy is coming from, right? If we were to just play like this, you know, it sounds okay, but it's not the full potential of what the, the stroke can do, right? So I like to think about the energy coming from the base of my spine and traveling up. And I like to think of my arms like wings, like a bird, really relaxed. And I'm not saying to like do this, but I'm just saying that's the feeling you want to have. It's very free. The freer you are when you play, the better sound you will get. I promise you that. Okay? So back to the doom stroke. It's with our dominant hand, with our ring finger. Now, the ring finger is the only thing that hits the drum. Okay? But the other hands come along for the ride. Okay, but the, fing the ring finger is the only thing that touches the drum head. And our thumb acts like a screw. So it doesn't move all the way up and down. It stays in one place. And with the pad of our thumb, we do like this with our hand when we're drumming. So before we actually play the doom, I want to invite you guys to take your thumb and make it like a screw and hold it against the side of your drum. Okay, so we're going to go up and down. Up, down. This is one of, another one of the key things in playing the frame drum in this style. Okay? So now we're going to add the doom. See how my thumb doesn't move up and down, it just stays in one place and acts like a screw. So, doom.
double the speed. The next stroke we're going to learn to play is called the tock stroke. The tock stroke is played also with our ring finger on our dominant hand. And you really want to reach your hand, okay? I see some people playing like this and you're not really getting the benefit. Once again, the more grace you have with your playing, the better sound you get. So I really reach my finger down there and I hit with that first part of the pad right here on my ring finger and it hits the rim. Okay? So you see that beautiful stretch with a nice sound? This is if you, you know, you don't stretch it out, it's kind of weird. So, tuck. Let's play along with me, please. And also notice, once again, my thumb doesn't move up and down, right? It stays in one place and it acts like a screw. And the drum leans a little forward. These are two really important things. I'm going to keep saying them because they're really important, right? The thumb is right here, it acts like a screw, and the drum is leaning forward. Here we go. Tuck. Tuck. Double the speed. 